Hey, Victory Kids, I'm so glad that you joined us for church today. When you come to church, you get to know that God loves you unconditionally, and that means he loves you no matter what. So I just want to start off by saying Merry Christmas to all of you, and I'm so glad that you joined us for church. So this week, we're talking about the Christmas story, and we're talking about the greatest gift that ever walked on this earth. And so I want to tell you about my favorite gift that I have ever gotten for Christmas. So one year I was taking piano lessons and I was learning how to play piano. And I was so excited because I got to learn all these songs about how to play piano. And I learned all the notes, I learned how to play songs, and I was so excited because I was finally learning how to play piano. Well, for Christmas I had asked for a piano because I wanted to continue after my lessons were done. And I wanted to keep learning and growing on playing piano. So I put it on my list and I was so excited and I asked and I was so excited because I wanted this piano so much. And on Christmas morning, I opened my presents and I got my piano. And I was so excited. I was over the moon excited because I got to continue to play piano and do what I love. So I played that piano for weeks and weeks and weeks and I did not stop playing piano. I learned all new songs. I played, learned all the new notes. I learned how to play the chords. I was so excited because I was learning how to play piano. Well, I was in school at this time and we were on Christmas break. So I played all throughout Christmas break. But when we started back to school, I got really busy. I got busy with school and homework and sports and I just was too busy. And I didn't get time to play my piano as much as I wanted to. So as time went on, I stopped learning how to play piano and I lost my skills of how to play. And so I couldn't play the piano anymore. And so now my piano is just in my room collecting dust because I, I don't know how to play anymore. And so I was, when I was getting that piano, I was so excited because I thought it was the best gift that anybody could have ever given me. And I was so excited because I love this piano. Well, one day, thousands of years ago, there was the greatest gift of all. It was a baby, and his name was Jesus. So there was this couple, they were named Mary and Joseph, and they were getting married. And right before they got married, there was an angel that appeared to Mary. And the angel said, greetings, O favored one. The Lord is with you. And now Mary was really scared. She was scared, but she was also at peace because she knew that this angel was from God. And the angel told her that to not be afraid because the Lord is with her. And he told her that she was going to have a baby. And they were to name that baby Jesus. And that he was going to be the son of the Most High. So when Mary went to tell Joseph, she was like, Joseph, 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 guess what, guess what, guess what? There was an angel that came to me and I'm gonna have a baby and we're supposed to name him Jesus. And Joseph was like, what? No, -uh, you're not having a baby. And she said, yes, I'm having a baby. And so Jesus or Joseph didn't believe her. So Joseph went home that night and fell asleep. And when Joseph went to sleep, he, had a dream and in this dream an angel appeared to her to, to him and the angel said to Joseph go find Mary because she is not lying to you he said that you're gonna have a she's gonna have a son and your name gonna name him Jesus and he you're gonna call him Emmanuel which means God with us and Joseph went and they went and it, time went on and when it finally came time to have the baby, they had to go to the town called Bethlehem. And when they arrived at Bethlehem, they went to the inn to go have the baby. And when they went into the inn, they had no rooms for them. There was no rooms ready for them. So the innkeeper told him, told them that they could go to the stable. The stable is where they kept all the animals and where everybody that was staying in the inn, they kept all of their animals in the stable because they were sleeping and they couldn't watch the animals. So they, they left all the animals in the stable and they said they had a manger and a manger was a place where the animals had their food. And so they went and had the baby 
in a manger in the stables. Now during this time, a star appeared in the sky and this star was called the North Star. So there were three wise men and they were kings and they saw the star and they knew that they had to follow the star to go find the king of kings and worship him and give him gifts. And so they took the journey and followed the star to find the gifts and bring the gifts to worship the king. When they arrived at the stable, they found this baby and they fell to their knees and worshiped towards Jesus. And they gave their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to Mary and Joseph. And those were big gifts back in the day. Those were like the highest of highs of gifts. But they worshiped Jesus. And so during this time, there were the shepherds in the fields watching the sheep. And there was an angel that came with a bright light. And the angel came to the shepherds and said, you must go to Bethlehem and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He has come to save us all. And the shepherds were like, but we're, we're just poor men. We just watched the sheep. And the angel told them they must go and worship the King. So off they went to the town called Bethlehem and they went and worshiped the King. Now, God doesn't care about you bringing gifts. He doesn't care about if you're wearing jewels. He doesn't care if you're wearing rags. All he wants is our worship to him. And God showed us this by having Jesus born in a stable. Now it tells us in 2 Corinthians 9, 7 through 8, it says, each one of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. You should not give if it makes you unhappy or if you feel forced to give. God loves those who are happy to give and God can give more blessings than you need and you will always have plenty of everything. You will have enough to give to every good work. So it doesn't matter what you give. It doesn't matter how you give it. It matters what the heart that you give with. You could give someone a hug, and if you have a cheerful heart, they would love that. And you could also give the biggest gift that you could ever get, like my piano. But all God wants is for us to give with the heart of a cheerful giver. And God gave us the greatest gift of all. He sent Jesus to save us, to die on the cross for our sins. He, Jesus was not to be forgotten about. He wasn't for, supposed to be put on the shelf and collect dust like my piano was. He was the, he's the greatest gift that has ever been given to any of us. And it tells us in John 3.16 that God gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not be afraid but have eternal life. God wants us to have a life full of happiness because he sent Jesus with a purpose greater than any gift that could have been given to us. So if that's you and you want that gift and you want to be saved, I want everybody to bow their heads and close their eyes no matter where you are sitting, no matter if you're standing, you're in your living room, you're no matter where you are, close your eyes. And if you say, that's me, I want Jesus in my heart, as my Lord and Savior. I want you to raise your hand right now. It doesn't matter if you're by yourself, if you're in your room with anybody, raise your hand so that God can see that you want Him. All right, if you raise your hand, or you should have, I want you to repeat after me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for coming to this earth to die on a cross for my sins. I ask you to come into my heart, Jesus, and into my life. I believe right now that I am saved. Thank you for coming into my heart so that I can be saved. I am now a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. And we want to work, we want to celebrate you and give you the best gift of all, and that is Jesus. And we can't give that, but Jesus has come into your heart. And we're so excited. We want to celebrate with you. 
I want you to tell your parents. I want you to tell an adult because this is the best thing that you could have ever done. So thank you guys so much for joining us for church today. Merry Christmas and we'll see you next time. Bye.